Welcome to Gannon Makerspace's first look at the Prusa XL. Hi, I am Nick Devine, and today we are taking a closer look at the Prusa XL, a large format 3D printer that promises to deliver high quality prints with ease and versatility. The Prusa XL is the latest addition to the Prusa family of 3D printers, which are known for their reliability, affordability, and open source philosophy. The XL is designed for enthusiasts and professionals who need a bigger build volume and more features than the popular MK3S and now the MK4. We purchased our two XLs on day one pre-orders for $2,500 with $450 shipping and $100 import tax per printer. So for two fully assembled XLs, in total, we paid $6,100 US. Our printers arrived last week, and as usual for Purusha machines, the printers were packaged extremely well. Once we got it out of the box, there was minimal assembly. We got the printer set up in about 10 minutes. The Prusa XL has a build volume of 360 millimeters cubed, which is three times larger than the MK3S. This means you can print larger models or multiple smaller models at once. The printer dimensions are 640 by 700 by 850 millimeters, including the side spool holders and top enclosure cover, which is a separate future add-on. The base of the printer alone is 500 by 540 millimeters, not including the spool holders, power cable out the back, or the display. The printer is based on a core XY design, which means that the print head moves in the X, Y axes, while the bed moves only in the Z axis. In theory, this reduces vibrations and improves print quality and speed, as opposed to the traditional Prusa i3 bed slinger style that must move the heavy build plate around on the Y axis. All the printer axes use CPC brand high quality linear rails for smooth and precise movement of the axes. Linear rails are more durable and reliable than rods and bearings. They also require less maintenance than Prusa's traditional LM8UU bearing designs, as they do not need grease but simply wipe clean. Prusa also invested in a light construction of the X-axis to reduce the inertia of the extruder. The Prusa XL uses 1.75 millimeter filament and supports a wide range of thermoplastics. We successfully tested PLA, PETG, and TPU. The extruder is equipped with a 10 to 1 gearbox with no slip drive gear, which ensures precise and consistent extrusion. We have already tested Shore 95 TPU and had great results. However, the reverse Bowden setup is not continuous with fittings and poses a risk of filament getting stuck while loading. The extruder also has a load cell sensor, which primarily is used for auto leveling. One of the most exciting features of the XL is the optional tool changer upgrade, which allows you to use up to five different tool heads on the same printer. The tool heads can be swapped automatically during printing, enabling you to print with different materials, colors, or nozzle sizes. The tool heads communicate with the main board via a single cable and have their own daughter boards. The tool changer upgrade is not included in the base model that we have here, but it appears that it could be easily added later thanks to the design of the frame. We are looking forward to upgrading our units and sharing the process when we get the five tool changers shipped. The Prusa XL has a segmented heat bed with 16 individually controlled heat zones. This means that you can heat only the parts of the bed that are needed for your print, saving energy and reducing warping. Due to the large size of the bed, Prusa has added a heat soak time that we have seen adding up to 500 seconds to the print startup procedure. The bed also has a thick aluminum reinforcement to help with rigidity. The heat bed also has a removable magnetic sheet with different surface finishes, such as smooth PEI, textured powder coated, or a satin sheet. You can choose the best surface for your material and easily remove your prints when they are done. Prusa XL features a 32-bit custom-made board with an expansion slot for future upgrades. The board also has network features. Built-in Ethernet and Wi-Fi enable printing from your browser or mobile device. You can monitor and control your printer remotely and access online services such as Prusa Connect and Prusa Link. However, in our initial testing, the Wi-Fi transfer speeds of G-Code were unsatisfactory for everyday use of large prints. Smaller pr prints did transfer okay. 
One of the most impressive aspects of the Prus XL is its mesh bed leveling system, which uses a load cell sensor to perform a fully automatic first layer calibration with no live Z adjustment. The sensor measures the pressure applied by the bed to the nozzle and adjusts the Z height accordingly. This ensures that your first layer, in our experience, has always been perfect and eliminates the need for a manual live Z adjust. In our initial tests, this feature has proven to be a game changer for, from the older Mark III printers. The Prus XL also has a power loss recovery feature, which saves your print in case of a power outage or interruption. The printer resumes from where you left off with single G-code line accuracy, so you don't lose any progress or material. The printer can detect if the print head hits an obstacle or loses steps during printing and pause or resume accordingly. This pre prevents damage to the printer or to the part. The crash detection also has an adjustable sensitivity to adjust how likely a crash is to trigger the printer. Belt tension may affect the reliability of the crash detection feature. Some of the other notable features for the Prusa XL are the printer has a sturdy 30 by 30 millimeter aluminum extrusion frame with steel reinforcements for stability and rigidity. However, this amount of material means that the machine is pretty heavy, around 25 kgs. The printer has RGB light strips around the frame to indicate the status of the printer and to provide illumination for your prints. There is also an LED in the tool head to show more of the printer status info. Out of the box, the printed housing around the USB port had insufficient bridging, which blocked access to inserting the USB drive. We ended up having to clean out the passageway with a knife before we could insert the flash drive. The Prus XL is a remarkable 3D printer that offers a large build volume, high print quality, and versatility. We plan to do a full review in the future. Comment down below with your questions and we may answer them in the full review.